Hey, what's going on guys? Brandon here with Texas Plinking, and today we're talking about what happens when an MP7 meets an AR-15. Reason I say that is this is a CMMG Banshee, as you know them to be with the AR ergonomics and a pistol configuration, but in a new chambering, new offering, it is the 4.6 by 30 millimeters, which is the famous round that the MP7 was chambered in. And we're gonna go totally forgotten weapons here, but to give you a little bit of surface level knowledge on it, the uh, FN, P90 was coming out with a whole new chambering, the 57 by 28 and it was looking to get NATO contracts, and uh, the Germans didn't want to let the MP5 go, HK in particular, so they developed a cartridge, the 46 by 30 and an MP7 to go along with it. So whenever you think of that cartridge, you think of the MP7 and vice versa. Legendary gun, don't own one, can't own one, but I uh, was lucky enough to shoot one full auto a while back. I'll probably show some of that footage as we go along in this uh, video, just because that was a great time. But this here, like I said, it is an AR chambered in that cartridge, so that hasn't been done before. All that being said, if you guys want any more historic information, feel free to watch other videos that go into uh, in-depth information on how the 5.7x28 came to be, as well as the 4.6x30. But this thing probably needs to get zeroed in. I threw on a Romeo 5.6 Sour on this one, and I uh, haven't shot it yet. So you guys are going to see my first impressions as we side it in. And we'll also shoot a little bit of 5.7x28 guns, see how they compare. Let's get to it. Just to show you guys what we're dealing with, this is a good old 5.56. This is the 5.7x28. And then this is that 4.6x30. So 5.56 is just there because we all know it really well. But definitely these two are more so in contention. So again, P90 and FN57 cartridge. And that is the MP7s or the Banshee for today's cartridge right there. Quite a bit smaller. Honestly, it looks like a 5.56 got left in the dryer. It could be a complete gun, this here being a CMMG Banshee 300, or you could uh, use your existing lower because these AR platform mags fit no problem and just get the 4.6 by 30 upper if you want to do it that way. Seems to be sighted in enough. Tell you what, it doesn't move at all, but it's actually pretty punchy. So it's not like too violent by any means, but um, it kind of barks more than I thought. It's actually a pretty big bang. Maybe that muzzle brake has something to do with it, but it doesn't move. Let's see if we can rapid fire a little bit. Yeah, it's weird. Let's see if it has enough energy to move the uh, dueling tree. Barely. Go for that water jug, see how it acts a little bit here. Kind of zips right through. We're dealing with full metal jackets. All right, we'll just dump it on it. All right, a little test here. Got one in the chamber, two in the mag. I'm gonna just dump them quickly. We'll move on to a 5.7 by 28, see how it feels any different. This here is a Diamondback DBX 5.7, and I just threw out three bucks. All right, oops, we'll get that later. Let's do three again. Yeah, this thing's so much flatter, and I know the Banshee's also got an upper kit and all that in this caliber, but interesting, I would've thought that the 46 by 30 would have been a little bit softer just because it's slightly smaller, but anyway. All right, next part of the video might be kind of interesting. So this is not sponsored. I was just sent this. They reached out to me on Instagram. This is Leo Core Armor, and they said that it is the cheapest level 3A body armor. How cheap? Well, I'll tell you the price, but as far as the quality, we're about to find out. Um, yeah, level 3A plates. These are 35 bucks each. If you get two with this carrier, the whole deal is like 95 bucks. And the cool thing about the 5.7x28 and the 4.6x30 is that for their size, they are pretty good against armor. So uh, I have no bias. I'm not rooting for the round or the armor. I don't care. We're just gonna see what happens. Pretty close here as well. Well, I didn't hear steel. Huh. Yeah, little poke there. It absorbed it. Cool. $35 plate. Let's go ahead and uh, just unload on it. I 
I started hearing some steel. Kind of what happens eventually it'll give away. Not too big of a surprise. I just like to break things. There it is. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll go ahead and throw it off to the side. We've got another plate here. Let's mag dump it with a P90. All right, y'all haven't seen this in a little while. This is my registered SBR PS90. I heard steel that one time, but I probably just missed. A couple went out, I think. Mmm, interesting. Okay, well, I'm just comparing them just because I have them out here and I'm curious about it, but the uh, four six by 30 performed better, but again, those are full metal jackets. These are more defensive, but they did somewhat kind of poke out here, but anyway, I just want to do that just for fun, but it's a $35 plate, interestingly enough. Again, not sponsored. I just appreciate when people help me out. So Clear Ballistics, thanks for sending out a gel block. I actually sent two, so we might dedicate one to the four six by 30. Go kind of close here, see what happens. Huh. Saw a little spark on the uh, actual gel itself. So uh, full metal jacket, so it seems like it was pretty straight. Tumbled a little bit, tumbled a lot right there. We might have actually caught a little bit of it, not too much, but it did ultimately go out. Yeah, it doesn't really look like we're catching a whole lot, but you can see what wound channels would have been there. They tumbled pretty good, but ultimately they all go out. smoking yeah look at that look how consistent that is and then look at those bullets trapped one made it here the other two made it right here the bullets made it just about one length of a dbx 57 nice heard a lot about these types of rounds i know it's certainly with the 5728 but with the 46 as well should be pretty flat so i don't know we're at a little over 100 yards Well, it's accurate and it gets there really fast. How miraculous I didn't have to sight this thing in. Seems pretty good. It gets there like a rifle though. Um, like a 5.56 nearly. It's fast. It does have no kick, you were right. But it blasts pretty loud though. It is kind of loud, but it has no kickback at all. All right guys, that's about gonna do it for this video. Again, this was the CMMG Banshee 300, chambered in 46 by 30. The Banshee is offered in so many different calibers, and I have a few. This one, unfortunately, I don't get to keep, but I think I'll get one at some point pretty soon. This one, they haven't, well, this is before, I'm making this video before it's released. So it's gonna make its rounds with some people to make videos with, but it's not necessarily a sponsored video at all. They were nice enough to send ammo and let me play with it, but I'm gonna take my red dot off and send it off to the next person to review it. But hopefully you'll see one that is my own before too long. But at first, if I'm being honest, I didn't understand the point. I thought it was gonna be cool, but for kind of a rarity uh, round and all that kind of stuff, I didn't know why you would exactly need something like this, but seeing how effective it is, Actually, even on armor, when you rapid fire it, or on the ballistics gel, very, very cool package here for recreationally shooting or some varmints or whatever else. Um, very, very cool. Actually dig it. And uh, yeah, I don't know if there's much more I need to say on it, but that does it for this video. I'll see you guys very soon. Take care.